The candela or symbol CD is the base unit of luminous intensity in the International System of Units SI, that is, luminous power per unit solid angle emitted by a point light source in a particular direction. Luminous intensity is analogous to radiant intensity, but instead of simply adding up the contributions of every wavelength of light in the source's spectrum, the contribution of each wavelength is weighted by the standard luminosity function a model of the sensitivity of the human eye to different wavelengths. A common wax candle emits light with a luminous intensity of roughly one candela. If emission in some directions is blocked by an opaque barrier, the emission would still be approximately one candela in the directions that are not obscured. The word candela means candle in Latin. Definition Like most other SI base units, the candela has an operational definition. It is defined by a description of a physical process that will produce one candela of luminous intensity. Since the 16th General Conference on Weights and Measures CGPM in 1979, the candela has been defined as The candela is the luminous intensity, in a given direction, of a source that emits monochromatic radiation of frequency 540 times 1012 Hz and that has a radiant intensity in that direction of 1 683 watt per steradian. The definition describes how to produce a light source that by definition emits one candela but does not specify the luminosity function for weighting radiation at other frequencies. Such a source could then be used to calibrate instruments designed to measure luminous intensity with reference to a specified luminosity function. An appendix to the SI brochure makes it clear that the luminosity function is not uniquely specified but must be selected to fully define the candela. The candela is sometimes still called by the old name candle, such as in foot candle and the modern definition of candle power. Explanation The frequency chosen is in the visible spectrum near green, corresponding to a wavelength of about 555 nanometers. The human eye, when adapted for bright conditions, is most sensitive near this frequency. At other frequencies, more radiant intensity is required to achieve the same luminous intensity, according to the frequency response of the human eye. The luminous intensity for light of a particular wavelength lambda is given by I V lambda equals 683.002 L M W Y lambda I E lambda display style I underscore mathrm v lambda equals 683.002 mathrm l m w c d o t overline y lambda c d o t I underscore mathrm e lambda where I v lambda is the luminous intensity I E lambda is the radiant intensity and y lambda Display style text style overline y lambda is the photopic luminosity function. If more than one wavelength is present, as is usually the case, one must integrate over the spectrum of wavelengths to get the total luminous intensity. Topic examples. A common candle emits light with roughly one candela luminous intensity. A 25W compact fluorescent light bulb puts out around 1,700 lumens. If that light is radiated equally in all directions, i.e. over 4 pi steradians, it will have an intensity of I V equals 1,700 lm 4 pi senior, approximately equals 135 lumen per steradian equals 135 cd display style i underscore text v equals frac 1700 text lm 4 pi text senior approximately 135 text lumen per steradian equals 135 text cd focused into a 20 degrees beam the same light bulb would have an intensity of around 18000 candelas within the beam Origin 
Prior to 1948, various standards for luminous intensity were in use in a number of countries. These were typically based on the brightness of the flame from a standard candle of defined composition, or the brightness of an incandescent filament of specific design. One of the best known of these was the English standard of candle power. One candle power was the light produced by a pure spermaceta candle weighing one-sixth of a pound and burning at a rate of 120 grains per hour. Germany, Austria and Scandinavia used the Hefnerkertz, a unit based on the output of a Hefner lamp. It became clear that a better defined unit was needed. Jules Weil had proposed a standard based on the light emitted by one square centimeter of platinum at its melting point or freezing point, calling this the Weil. The light intensity was due to the Planck radiator a black body effect, and was thus independent of the construction of the device. This made it easy for anyone to measure the standard, as high-purity platinum was widely available and easily prepared. The Commission Internationale de l'Éclairage International Commission on Illumination and the CIPM proposed a new candle based on this basic concept. However, the value of the new unit was chosen to make it similar to the earlier unit candle power by dividing the vial by 60. The decision was promulgated by the CIPM in 1946. The value of the new candle is such that the brightness of the full radiator at the temperature of solidification of platinum is 60 new candles per square centimeter. It was then ratified in 1948 by the 9th CGPM which adopted a new name for this unit, the candela. In 1967 the 13th CGPM removed the term, new candle, and gave an amended version of the candela definition, specifying the atmospheric pressure applied to the freezing platinum. The candela is the luminous intensity, in the perpendicular direction, of a surface of one six hundred thousandth of a square meter of a black body at the temperature of freezing platinum under a pressure of 101,325 newtons per square meter. In 1979, because of the difficulties in realizing a Planck radiator at high temperatures and the new possibilities offered by radiometry, the 16th CGPM adopted the modern definition of the candela. The arbitrary 1 term was chosen so that the new definition would precisely match the old definition. Although the candela is now defined in terms of the second an SI base unit and the watt a derived SI unit, the candela remains a base unit of the SI system, by definition. <laughs> SI photometric light units Topic. Relationships between luminous intensity, luminous flux, and illuminance If a source emits a known luminous intensity IV in candelas in a well-defined cone, the total luminous flux phi V in lumens is given by phi V equals IV2 pi 1 minus cos a 2, where A is the radiation angle of the lamp, the full vertex angle of the emission cone. For example, a lamp that emits 590 candelas with a radiation angle of 40 degrees emits about 224 lumens. CMR16 for emission angles of some common lamps. If the source emits light uniformly in all directions, the flux can be found by multiplying the intensity by 4 pi. A uniform one candela source emits 12.6 lumens. For the purpose of measuring illumination, the candela is not a practical unit, as it only applies to idealized point light sources, each approximated by a source small compared to the distance from which its luminous radiation is measured, also assuming that it is done so in the absence of other light sources. What gets directly measured by a light meter is incident light on a sensor of finite area, i.e. illuminance in lumen per square meter lux. However, if designing illumination from many point light sources, like light bulbs, of known approximate omnidirectionally uniform intensities, the contributions to illuminance from incoherent light being additive, it is mathematically estimated as follows. If Re is the position of the ith source of uniform intensity E, and A is the unit vector normal to the illuminated elemental opaque area Da being measured, and provided that all light sources lie in the same half space divided by the plane of this area, Illuminance at point R on D A E V R equals I A carrot R minus R I 
R minus R I three I I Display style text illuminance at point math bf r text on da text e underscore v math bf r equals sum underscore i frac math bf hat a c d o t math bf r math bf r underscore i math bf r math bf r underscore i caret three i underscore i in the case of a single point light source of intensity IV, at a distance R and normally incident, this reduces to E V R equals I V R 2 Display style E underscore V R equals FRAC I underscore V R carrot two See also Proposed redefinition of SI base units <laughs>